Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates House. So we are in my office today. I just did a Pennywise haul. So if you've come over after that, I appreciate you guys stopping by and I am excited to jump in this into this because this actually is kind of big. And for starters, I want to say thank you to everybody that has been liking my Etsy shop. It's under Bates House in the shop section. One word, no spaces. And I've recently gotten a lot of uh, favorites on the pay on on the shop and uh, purchases. So I just want to say thank you so much, guys, because that kind of helps me generate an income aside from YouTube because we ain't balling out of control here on YouTube. Ask any of us normal YouTubers. So for for me to generate a little bit of extra income on Etsy and try to share quality pieces with everybody, it's just it's really awesome for you guys to support me in that way. And I really appreciate it. We are going to dive into a Goodwill haul. Super excited for this. First things first, because there's a lot in this haul. We're going to move quick. Check out this huge basket. I love it. It is a ginormous size basket. It's actually from Home Goods. It's a brand new basket for $20, which I did not pay. This basket was only $5. So I could totally live with that. This is bigger than any basket or crate or bin. Like this is huge. So everything that I'm getting or everything that I'm showing you guys is actually going to go into this basket so I can separate it and move it up to the attic um, to post for Etsy. All right. So starting off. So the first thing I got was this adorable little piggy bank. It is a carousel. It's silver or silver plate. I was looking for the number. I don't see it on there, but either way, this is absolutely adorable. Like who doesn't love that? It's basically like a baby trinket piggy bank. It does have the bottom still. I don't know much information on this. If you happen to know, go ahead and share it down below because you guys are so wise and full of information. But I did get this for 99 cents because yellow was regular price and I think it is beautiful. They're teddy bears riding horses. I love them. How precious. You could polish it up and gift it to somebody with the baby on the way. So cute. Next, this reminded me so much of my mother. My mother used to, my mom used to get like decked out. Like she'd have uh, custom dresses and tops and skirts and floof and sequins and like like silky materials and all this stuff she was so like head to toe dress and all this stuff right and I always saw her with these little things you know when you're a kid you like digging in your mama's stuff and you ain't supposed to be in there and then something goes missing and you're like Ooh. <laughs> oops but this reminded me of her I feel like this is so like Victorian style it's an ID card holder it's beautiful it's this gold plate now I wish I knew how to, I wish it was like actual gold. That would be awesome. Wouldn't it be magical to test it and see if it is real gold? If you have any suggestions, let us know. But there's beautiful little like faux lace and beadwork in the front there. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I got it for 99 cents. I'm gonna ask her if she wants it. I'm gonna look it up a little bit and see if I can find anything on them and see if they actually sell for anything. It's like in great condition. There's no scratches on the inside. It's got smudges because it's, you know, old, but it's a beautiful piece. I love that. It's gorgeous. So for 99 cents, pick that up. Couldn't pass it up. Totally remind me of my mom. This is another piece that I picked up for resale. I think this one's a 70s piece or no. Was it a 70s? Ugh. I have, I have a few of these and I always get confused on the date. So either 70s or 80s, I can't remember. But it's apple pie and like that's cute. I think I don't have this one so I might be keeping this one or I might sell it. Not positive. No, I think I do have apple pie already because I remember putting a green one in there and then I picked this one up because I got one I was like oh, I'll just get one to sell. So this one was $1.99. It is the Royal China by Jeanette conventional and microwave oven approved dishwasher safe made in the USA apple pie recipe plate. I am so excited for this. I think these are absolutely adorable. They make a great wall decor for your plate 
plate shelves. It has no uh, chips or anything on the side, no scratches, and the image is actually very pretty. This will be going into the shop once I do some research on it, see what they actually sell for. And then found this. This is by Pampered Chef. So Bridget, my friend, used to sell Pampered Chef. And when she used her freaking scoop, it was kind of magical because it didn't stick. And I actually just hauled a scoop from King Dollar, which I like, but with this, you don't have to wet it with hot water. Okay, so when I scoop, I scoop it, push it out, run it under the water real quick, and then go back to scooping, push it out, just let it run under the water real quick, and then, you know, whatever, kind of keep it warm so your ice cream moves faster. But this, just like, cut into it, like no problem. But she said it looks like they put it in the dishwasher, you're not supposed to, it's supposed to be like a, more lighter color she's like but it should work just fine so i got this this was only one dollar and i thought that was awesome because her scoop was magical so i wanted a magical scoop moving on i got this little guy he's so cute i actually don't know if i want to sell him i'm thinking about keeping him okay, so he's made for easter in 1982 guys and I got them for, uh, I want to say 50 cents because I think blue was 50% off. He's a bunny mug. <laughs> a 1982 bunny Easter mug with baby blue eyes and pink overalls. How cute. I love him. And he shall be my friend. <laughs> if he doesn't sell by Easter though. I'm taking them off and I'm keeping them. So I'm gonna do some research, see what something like him, like like him, see what he could resell for. I would say eight to ten bucks, uh, cause he is, he's got some good age to him and he looks really great. There's no chipping or scratches or anything, no marks on the inside. I'd say eight to ten. The only thing is, things like this, shipping can get high because you have to use a bigger size box and then you have to put filler and he's kind of fragile, so. You know, if someone's willing to pay the shipping, then he will be about eight to 10 bucks. But he is so cute, I love him. I found this Orion Monterrey Mexico tile decor. So this is actually supposed to be like a tray. The only flaw is that the carved wood here actually had a carved piece here that covered this nail. So now the nail just kind of free hangs because that piece, I guess, chipped off over time, you know, lifting it and lifting heavy things and stuff. But it is footed and it's two pieces of tile, really pretty carved handles, gorgeous carving around the trim. I love this. And then it has that nice vintage blue and orange co color combination. It's your square tiles. And I got this for $2. I thought it was beautiful. And I thought you could put like some rustic clips here or even get like two, um, two of the you know Dollar Tree magnet clips, but find a way to adhere them and spray paint them a different color, and then you could use this as a clipboard type thing, or you could just use it as is. I mean, it's a beautiful piece. I think uh, it would make a gorgeous, gorgeous tray. It's got some good weight. It's got some good vintage tiles. I'm gonna look up something like this, especially with the carved wood. That is just beautiful, and then cleaning it all up. It's gonna look gorgeous. So for two bucks, I thought that was great. I, again, I wanna keep it, but I can't keep everything that I buy. So this one will probably go for about, I don't know, I'd say, I wanna say about $14, but I have to look it up first because it does have some nice weight to it. So it might be worth a little bit more. So there goes that. Now for my Texas buddies, check this out. Oh my gosh. Let's go to Texas. Wheel and deal in oil, cattle and cotton. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at the pieces. Go ahead and fast forward if you don't want to see it because I'm all about my Texas stuff and I want to see everything. So check out the board. The board in itself is art alone. Like I would totally hang that up on the wall if I had walls. I know that sounds funny, but <laughs> the whole front of our house is like majority windows. That's why I said that. Anyway, look at that. So cool. I don't know of a date. So here goes the instructions, original to the game. Check it out, guys. We got bank. All the money is here. How cool is that? And look what it looks like. 
to the Republic of Texas. I sure do love that. So there's that. And then all of our little Texas themed cards. They're all in here. Oh, backwards. They're all here. And then check these out. Buffalo Springs, Yellow Houses, Middle Water, Spindle Top, Goose Creek, Pumpkin Creek, Sour Lake, Frying Pan, Dog Run, Big Lake, East Texas, Ranger, Indian Gap, Lubbock, Chuck Wagon, Round Top, Buffalo Bayou, and the Brazos. That's us. So much cool stuff. Galveston, the Jefferson, so neat. But my favorite thing was, look at the little pieces. They look so cute. Got cattle, horses, cactus, oil rigs, a wagon, hat. Oh, M. Gosh. They're so cute. So, yeah. When I opened it, I kind of, I didn't care to keep it for the actual game, to be honest. But I fell in love with the pieces. So, of course, I'm going to put these in my vintage game pieces, keep the box, keep the board, repurpose the board, I mean repurpose the box, and um, probably hang the board up eventually, figure it out somehow on how to display it in my vintage game space because it's so cool. So there is that. And that was only $1.99. I have these uh, Hearthside Garden Festival plates. I've already hauled them several times for you guys. The green tag was 75% off, so it was only 75 cents for all these plates, so I couldn't pass them up. We have the Hearthside Garden Festival hand-painted stoneware Japan pottery plates, and this one is in the Sunshine Flowers, and I have a few of these already. These are the ones I was happy to get. It's the little blue florals, and these are Hearthside Garden Festival uh, Highland Flowers. Super pretty. Wouldn't that be gorgeous as like a tiered tray thing? And then it was two of the salad plates with the blue florals. So I was really happy about that. So for 75 cents, you can't beat it. I was totally for it. So I got those for my own little personal collection. These are things that I'm really gonna struggle with. So this, I know I want it. I don't wanna let this go. This one was three bucks because it was regular price. This sucker is so freaking heavy and it is wood. It's solid ass wood like if someone broke into your house and you bang them over the head with this like done they're done and then there's this one so you bang them over the head with both of them they're really done but this is to crush your herbs and your spices and your garlic and stuff like that super super nice 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 weight to it three bucks i was all about that life i have another one that i hauled not too long ago i'm actually giving that one to bridget because she wanted one and i found this one i was like you can have my other one so I got some brass candle holders. Now I don't really do big candle holders like this, but something was calling me about them and I have no clue why I just love them. And I'm kind of having a feeling that I'm gonna find like the perfect uh, insert things here for the candles. And I don't know, I think they're beautiful, but I also feel like uh, this isn't really my thing, but I also feel like I don't want to let them go. So I'm torn. These are really nice. They were two for five dollars. Blue is 50% off. So they were two fifty for both of them. That was awesome. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm so torn. Okay, so next was this guy and I paid full price for him. But he's so cool. He is definitely vintage. He is made to hang on the wall. He's a gorgeous, gorgeous small space shelf. I love it. It's such a rich color wood and whoever gets it could totally paint it and distress it and that color would pop through really nicely. Check that out, super nice. So the bottom has a uh, decorative cut and then you have the four shelves and then you have the hanging hole there. And you can see the back it's all nailed together and it was only $3.99, so four bucks. And they sell shelves like this literally for about 45 bucks on Etsy, which is kind of crazy. I think if I did it, I'd probably go, I'd say $10 less than that because I feel like 45 is kind of a stretch. So I would do anywhere from 
29 to 35. I do think it's a gorgeous piece though. Once cleaned up, find the perfect pieces to put inside of it. It's adorable. So moving on, I'm just gonna move freaking quick. Okay, so this was all in another day. Um, this was regular price. I do believe it is a metal plant basket. So this is really nice. It was $2.99, it's super huge. You could fit a long, huge planter basket in here. And, or you could even do individual little small, like pretty terracotta pots, have your herbs in here or whatever you wanna do. So this is actually going on our back patio area. We recently just pressure washed out there cause we were gonna be painting the concrete. I was sealing the wood not too long ago. That's where we're gonna try to put some of our focus. So this is actually going to be for back there to hold some pretty plants. I'm super excited about that. Another big metal piece is this here. This one looks like it's gotten overspray about 15 times. It has some shimmery stuff going on. It's got some copper stuff, some rustic stuff. This has got like all kinds of things going on. Like, like someone used this to hold up whatever they were spray painting. Anyway, it's a tiered shelf hanger hook thingy one two three four it has four really nice size hooks it has two shelves and they're pretty strong they're not like super flimsy and it has this little like notch design here and it's really pretty anyway it was five dollars it's huge I'm actually gonna spray paint this black and this is also going to go outside and I think it's gonna be beautiful and of course I found the black outdoor Valspar spray paint from King Dollar for $1.25. It's like a seven, eight dollar can of spray paint. So that was awesome. I have plenty of that on hand. I even went today and I got some more because we always use it and we're actually going with black pieces outside. So that is gorgeous. This I thought was adorable. I really did. So I've seen a few tissue box um, wickery type things like this, but they all are closed on the sides and open on the bottom so you can put you know set it on the tissue box pull it out you know whatever but this one is open on the sides which is exactly what i need because i am a i'm an ex-couponer i couponed for years and i still am living off of our stockpile of kleenex tissue boxes <laughs> and so we take our tissues we took all of our tissues out of the boxes put them into trash bags and we have like eight trash bags full of tissue so when we need them, I go and I grab stacks and I put them throughout the house. Well, I hate putting them on my, in my living room with an open stack because the fan blows and the dogs go through there and then they tend to unravel and like fall off the little coffee table. So I was looking for something like this, but I didn't want it to be, I didn't want the tissue just sitting, you know, on the, on the table if I could get something with a closed bottom. Long story short, found this for my tissue and I'm so excited about it. So I can just put the tissue straight in there, pull it up. Perfect. Now everything orange was regular price, so this was actually 99 cents. I'm going to wash it with some soap and water, sanitize it, do all that good stuff, let it air dry, and I'm going to be painting this to coordinate with our colors in the house. I'm thinking I kind of see black when I think about it, so I'm probably gonna do black. Another goodie, basket. Grab this basket, it's a planter basket. It's cute, it's pretty simple, basic, but it's not a super tiny basket. The blue stickers were actually 75% off. So I got this for 50 cents. And if you don't know, I am a huge basket person. I get all the baskets that I can, especially if I can get them for pennies on the dollar because you can use them for so many different things, for storage, organization, for actual plants, you know, simple, or like your bathroom, your kitchen, your study, anywhere. So I love baskets. I got this, it was only 50 cents and it's a pretty color has the plastic in it, so yeah, there's that. This one was 75% off as well, and it was only 89 cents. I could spray paint this a beautiful color. It's a really nice size basket, so if I have anybody that wants to create a basket wall, I have a good filler piece here, and we can do it whatever color theme they want, or if I wind up using it, I'll just spray paint it a color that coordinates in my home. It's a great size, and it was only uh, 89 cents, so 75% off of that, whatever that is, Pennies, pennies, that's what it was, pennies, that's all I paid. I found this book, Tom Sawyer Abroad, and it is Companion Library, published in 65. And this is actually number 65 of 17,196. 
nice. Well, there are two stories in this book. We have Tom Sawyer Abroad, and then we have Dog of Flanders on the other side. And this book was only 89 cents. And of course, I love vintage children's books. I already sifted through it. There's no memorabilia, nothing in there that's fun to find in the pages, but Either way, the book itself was a great find. And I like having books like this for the kids because during summer, we do a lot of summer reading to keep their brains functioning. So there's that. If there's anything that I can try to keep up with during the summer, which I, you know, I'm just like every other mom, we get busy or we want to do vacation stuff or, you know, we finally take that time to either wake up late or uh, stay up late doing, you know, house projects or, you know, whatever. I do try to make sure I get them to read because I feel like that just helps their brain keep functioning beyond devices and stuff like that. And out here we do have a lot of things that we do at the house. They have to do a lot of work. So, you know, I just want to keep that going, but I want to keep their brains ready to read because that's comprehension is so important for every single subject. You have to understand what you're reading and everything that you're doing in school. So I feel like reading is the one thing that we have to fit in, even if it's um, while I'm cooking dinner and they read one at a time, you know, whatever. Read, 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 read. But this little piece I love, but I know I can't keep it. I, I can't just keep everything. So there is this, it's this gorgeous pale rooster, canister and I hate that they put so much tape on everything anyway it was two dollars and I love it and I knew somebody would love it it doesn't have any crack and it's very clean aside from all the damn tape residue everywhere but look at that rooster his image is so pretty on there I just feel like it looks modern though it looks new because it's so clean but I don't know I don't know, it looks so country, so like pop of color for your farmhouse decor. I loved it. So I did pick it up, two bucks, and I'm really debating on keeping it because he's so cool. I think if he had more red, I would definitely keep him because Rocky is all uh, red feathers. He has like those red, like stringy feathers on the end. He's a beautiful rooster. Anyway, got this gorgeous country style con container with lid. It's very pretty. It's got that little blue color that everyone likes in pottery. Has the rooster, a very pale color here. I think this is gorgeous. It has crazing in the um, actual design of it. So I think that's a great piece. I saw this and I had to get it. I don't know, it doesn't say anything. It doesn't say anything on the bottom, but it is this gorgeous green glass huge jar and it was three dollars but it wasn't just any green glass it's like my color green glass so happy about this ginormous sized jar has this gorgeous lid oh and it says it says 2000 in the glass right there look at this beautiful green oh am gosh this is gorgeous so that fits nice and snug in there. I feel this, I feel like this is like an old school, like medical jar because you know, the dark tinted glass is to prevent the sun from hitting things and stuff like that. I feel like it's the really old medicine jar. It looked gorgeous with like full of cotton balls in our bathroom because we have the black and kind of like greenery thing in there. And this is so pretty and it's big. Anyway, it was three bucks, gorgeous color green, beautiful beautiful lid great size I could not walk out of the store without this so I took this for us here's two mugs that I'm thinking I'm going to put in the Etsy shop these have gorgeous color to them they do have some crazing also in the glaze but they are beautiful Ugh. another set of things that I really want to keep they are just so beautiful look at them Look at these mugs. They are gorgeous. They are all, okay, so they're like, they're a brown color, but they have like a green undertone. And they are simply beautiful. That is gorgeous. So they were 89 cents a piece. Look at them. 
No scratches, no chips, no nothing. Just the crazing and the glaze, which is kind of normal over time. They are, oh, they're just beautiful. Like, so boho, so trendy. So I'm thinking these would probably go for about 14. I'd say 14, 15 bucks. Jeez, these are nice. I don't know, but I don't know if I want to give them up. So there's that. Next is definitely a vintage find. This one is marked by the Potter, which has a really cool signature if you ask me. And it's got the year 70 on there. So this is a vintage candle stand thing, I think. He's cute. And he's got some really gorgeous color pattern thing going on here. We have some gray, some blue, some brown, some green. It's really nice for anyone that likes to have all of those natural tones in their decor. And you could spin it around as the days go by with it, whatever your mood is and get a totally different look as you spin it around. I think that's so cute. So there's that. This one's definitely going up in the shop because somebody's gonna love that uh, speckled pottery look candle holder. All right, so this one is for us. And I think he got chipped while he was in the bag. The guy didn't wrap anything, not one thing, which is crazy because you're about to see all the glass that I have here. Not one thing was wrapped. I was like, oh Lord Jesus. But I was just like, okay, just give it to me carefully, please. And I just put it in my, in my truck in the crate. So I found another terracotta duck. I love him. He's 99 cents. He is definitely for us. Gonna take this off. And this one is actually almost identical to the other one that I found. And I put them on our on our um, mantle with our decor because we have medium gray. It's like a like mid-tone gray, not too dark where it's almost black. And then not too light where it's almost white, like our walls. It's actually like a nice medium gray. And then we are mixing that with black and the camo green and terracotta pieces with natural greenery. Not so much florals. I don't, I'm not doing too many florals anymore. So there's that. Got him. He's going to go on the mantle with the rest of our cool little uh, animal pieces of terracotta. I love him. And then I found this little crossbody. It's the sack from Macy's. And it's super clean inside, like it's never been used. Well, you can't really see it, but it's super clean, like it's never been used. This is, okay, so, crochet, is that what it is? Let us know what this whole thing is, so we know. I don't know the technical terms. I don't do technicalities, but it's really nice to know because it helps me stay informed, and I don't sound like a dummy. So if you know what this kind of pattern is called, let us know. I think, I wanna say it's crochet, but, it's a gorgeous bag, very nice cream color. The strap as well is very crochet. I wore it around the whole store because I was actually debating. I wasn't sure if I wanted it or not. It was $5.99 regular price and I did pay regular price. But um, the strap really matters to me because it, when you carry your stuff around, your strap is uncomfortable. You start getting like this like ache in your neck. So I wore it for about 45 minutes in the store and I loved it. So I decided to go ahead and get it because it's so awesome. And these bags actually sell starting about $40, $45. So it was a great price at six bucks. Never, you know, looks like it's never been used all that great quality. And yeah, so I got that. Now this is definitely for resale. This is uh, Mikasa Potter's art. This is the Ben Siebel design. Microwave safe, freezer to oven, to table, to dishwasher. So that is really great quality. It's a speckled pottery dish. Apparently oven safe, you know, you can do everything with this. You can store it anywhere, you can use it anywhere. It's not gonna shatter and explode. So that's awesome. And it has this really pretty, like, can you see it? Ripply trim around the edge. It's so nice. And I got this. I think red was regular price. So I got this for $2 and I'm going to resell this. I think this is a gorgeous piece that somebody would love. It's super heavy duty. It's super clean. No chips, no scratches. I think it's a really nice piece. So somebody would definitely love this. And it's big. I mean, look at it. It's a really nice size. For party hosting, for Thanksgiving in the fall with the really pretty trim. Ooh, you know what I can see in here? I can see some... Uh, some uh, sweet potato casserole. Mmm. Yummy. 
I found, now I've seen these all the time and I never get them because I always see them in like either an odd number or in fours. So I'll, I, you can't really do much in fours, you know, when it comes to these kinds of sets. But I was really happy because there was not just one set of six, but there was two sets of six of vintage Libby glasses in two different styles. So we have these here. These are the stemless with this pretty ombre color. Now these are very, wherever they were, they sat for a very long time and need a lot of cleaning. I'm talking about a lot. We got a lot of stuff going on in these glasses. But once cleaned up, they will be totally worth it. That's one of the things that you have to kind of get over whenever you're thrifting. You gotta see beyond the dirt and the grime and the stuff. <laughs> Just know that there's a gem under there, but either way Very pretty very very pretty and I was able to find a set of six now this one actually still has the sticker on there It says Libby glass Glassware, so that was awesome. So I got this really pretty amber glass kind of color These are so nice and I know these can sell for about 40 bucks. I would probably put them for 35 call it a day and then here's a set of six of these with the dark I want to say this is also a brown, but it, it again. It has like that kind of green tint to it It's a beautiful color. It's not black like that smoky black It's really nice and as a size comparison. That's what the size difference is very mid-century modern very like elegant clean line very pretty so that also had a set of six so i was super excited to finally be able to find two sets in sixes instead of just the four or like some random number that wasn't six there were also six of these ball ideal bicentennial celebration jars and these are 1776 to 1976 made in the usa so these are vintage and they all have their original lining these are so pretty i to be honest with you again wanted to keep them but i can't i don't have any decor that would coordinate with this but they are so gorgeous imagine all of those in someone's pantry or outside on their your yard with with some fairy lights or some candles. Uh, well, of course, battery operated LED candles. They have the original rubber and then they have their original lids. Like you heard that sucker not want to come off, right? I was so excited. Now they are $3 a piece, but I do believe they price them up to like $20 a jar if it has the original seal, the uh, the lid, and because some of a lot of them don't have lids. All of these have lids and I do have six of them here. So here are the jars. Beautiful, oh my goodness. They are so gorgeous. And they're not tiny mason jars, or they're not tiny ball jars. They're the, I think these are a quart. These are a really great size and I'm so excited to have found them. Now they were $3 a piece. And I think to be fair, I would probably do a little bit more research because again, it has everything original to it and it has the lid. Two lids sell for $17, so I got six of those. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for this Goodwill haul. I had an awesome time shopping and finding some new goodies to put into the Etsy store. Again, you can find my Etsy store on in the shop section under Bates House, all one word. And I have put some new items in there, some that are really hard to let go, but they're in there and I just can't wait for the right person to find them. I've had, you know, I've been playing with uh, packaging and trying to understand the shipping and doing all that. So I'm growing as this process grows in our house and I really do appreciate your support in purchasing some of the items that I have posted up in there. Yesterday I got a lot of traffic and that was very fulfilling. I really felt like I wanted to do a good job. So those of you that ordered for me, I really appreciate it. I hope you love your pieces. I, write, I really tried to take care of how I sent them and to me that means a lot i will be doing a tag video pretty soon i'm putting together something with some thrifty ladies hoping that we can answer some of your questions that maybe you wanted to know about us thrifters but if you like you can go ahead and leave a really good question down below if it's something that i haven't already put in our list of questions i'll go ahead and add it in if it's a really great question i think a lot of people would want to share that information then 
uh, leave it down below and we'll see if we can get to it. Now in selling modern pieces, I think I will do Marketplace because it seems that local people actually shop the Facebook Marketplace in random areas, which is, I never thought of that. Uh, I had someone order from North Carolina, uh, some plates that I posted, the boutique plates from Ray Dunn, and I, w I was just blown away. I didn't think anybody else out of, you know, Houston or Texas would see it. And she was all the way in North Carolina and was willing to pay shipping. So I think I'm going to post modern pieces that are really cool um, to Facebook Marketplace and try to get it moving on there. So you can definitely follow me over there under Paloma Bates or the Bates House or something and it'll come up. So that is pretty much it for this Goodwill haul, guys. I do hope that you enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. I also do other types of things, but right now this is what my life is. <laughs> if you need creative inspiration, organization inspiration, all that jazz, you can go ahead and check out my playlist section. I have many, many, many crafty things under there that I did over the years, really putting an effort to be original so that my content could kind of last as I grew in the channel. And I could definitely keep you company while you're doing your crafty projects. You can follow me on my Instagram at Bates House. You can follow me on Facebook at Coupons Provide. I have not changed the channel name. I have not changed the group name yet. I'm not really sure how, or maybe I did on there and I haven't changed it here. I don't know, I'm trying to get them all synced. We're transitioning here, baby steps. And that's pretty much it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.